Hello friends, DK this side. Last week on last Saturday, we discussed about the US stock market and did the weekly analysis. We come up with the video every Saturday for the US stock market weekly analysis so that we are ready for the next week's possible support and resistance levels in S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Now we begin this week, this Saturday, with the bad news. What is that bad news is? S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index have sharply fallen in the last week. In fact, S&P 500, NASDAQ notched the biggest weekly losses since March 2020. I'm talking about Friday to Friday percentage drops in these indices. Is the market sentiments deteriorated? Is the market trend has changed? Let us discuss all about this in this current video where we'll do the technical analysis of S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index to determine the support and resistance levels for the next week. However, in the last Saturday, whatever support and resistance levels we arrived at, based on the price action on the price charts of these major indices from the US stock market, price is currently trading below all those demand area. So now those demand area itself will act as a resistance area or supply zone in the forthcoming week. Friends, do not forget to like this video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell for updates. Let's begin our discussion on the US stock market for the next week. If we look at the performance outlook of the US stock market in the last week, which ended on 22nd September 2023, S&P 500 dropped by 2.93%. It was a massive fall. Similarly, NASDAQ 100 is still underperformed the S&P 500 index and had fallen by 3.3% on week to week basis. And Dow Jones Industrial Average has fallen by 1.89% on week-to-week -week basis. So it was a sell-off all across the U.S. stock market. If you look at the major U.S. stock market indices, even if you look at the Russell 2000, which represents the small cap stocks in the U.S. stock market, even that index has fallen quite substantially. Now let us check the prevailing market sentiments against S&P 500, which is a broader market index in the US stock market. One week ago, when we discussed in the last Saturday, it was leading at 49, which means S&P 500 fear and greed index was in neutral territory. But now it has substantially fallen over the past one week and now currently reads at 36 when the market closed in the last week. So there is a sharp deterioration in the market sentiments. The market sentiments, which was quite neutral in the last week, has come down to the fear zone. If you look at the market momentum, currently S&P 500 is almost kissing to simple moving average 125. So here too, market has become fearful. The market participants are now fearful. Because till last week or prior week, it was trading quite distant apart on upside with respect to simple moving average 125. So certainly the market sentiments have suddenly uh, dropped or deteriorated over the past one week. So now let us go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis on S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index to understand the price action and based on price action, we will mark the support and resistance area, try to understand the current market trends, and then we'll take a decision, what could be the possible support and resistance area or supply and demand area, which might 
be respected by the market in the upcoming week. Friends, do not forget to like this video. This is the price chart of uh, SPX, that is S&P 500 index in weekly time. This index in the last week finally closed at 4320.05 and thereby it was bearish by 2.93% on week to week basis. Let us first understand the price action. This was the bear market of 2022 and then finally price took support in the zone of SMA 200 and SMA 233, marking it the lowest point of the bear market 2022, and then market structure turned into higher highs and higher lows kind of market structure. Significantly most important is that this correction which has started here was expected. There was no doubt that the correction will not start over here because there was a, a major price rejection from this point of time based on the historical price action. And if you draw this neckline, so this is the left shoulder, head and right shoulder kind of formation, which gave a breakout over here. So it attained the target of inverse head and shoulder, which is a reversal chart. My worry is for the first time when the market turned bullish, it is making higher highs and higher lows. But post this parabolic rise. This is virtually a parabolic rise where hardly any correction took place. There was of course a time correction over here, but price correction was not there uh, when this impulse got formed. But now the market structure stands broke because it has made lower highs and lower lows kind of formation. When the price took support here, it was expected that it will make a new high but it failed to make a new high and instead made a new low. So the market structure has turned. Is the market trend has changed or the market has become bearish? It is too early to say because when, whenever there is a you know massive upside move, parabolic rise, uh, the market sometimes makes a complex kind of correction. What we call it is a formation of a harmonics on the price chart. So this could be termed as A, this could be termed as B, and this is C. So probably leg CD is under formation. This could be a complex correction. Usually AB wave is equal to CD wave in a typical ABCD pattern, which is a complex correction. So this correction is quite substantial. If you see the length of the wave, this wave is more or less equal to this wave. So not much correction is left out unless and until this correction becomes an extended ABCD pattern. Now coming back to some more price action, let me superimpose some of the technical studies which I have already done. Now if you see this as a single impulsive wave, because hardly any price correction is there. So this wave is started at 3808.86 and finally it ended at 4,607.07. So if you do the retracement analysis of this rising wave or this rising wave, which is a, a typically a formation of a major impulsive wave, what we can see 38.2% retracement level falls at 4,280. And next level of support is this level of price rejection, price rejection, so price action based support is at 4,232. So in my opinion, the correction should halt in this zone, 4,232 to 4,280. But if it falls below 4,232 on the final closing basis or a final verdict basis, then a deeper correction might take place and the price may test the 61.8% retracement level, which is 4,096. But as if now that level is quite far away, this level, this zone becomes very important demand area based on the retracement analysis. At the same time, there is a confluence of EMA 55. So even if there is a deeper mean reversion process 
undergoing, the price should take support at this area. Now, coming back to the further price action, let me remove this retracement level and just watch this area where the price consolidated for several weeks and it was virtually a time correction. So this could be considered another impulsive wave. If you do the retracement analysis of this impulsive wave based on the uh, you know complex kind of uh, consolidation and measure it like this, what we find this level that we marked at around 4,280, the retracement level with respect to this impulsive wave, 61.8%, which happens to be the golden ratio, falls at a very important level. This level, which coincides with the earlier 38.2% retracement level, when we check the entire impulse and took the retracement analysis. What does it mean? there is a enough confluence to suggest that 4,280 is a good support in this particular index. Based on the price action also, there is a resistance, should act as a support. At the same time, this falling trend line where the price is taken support, taken support should also provide the added support or to this particular index and the correction is expected to halt at that point of time which implies that around 40, 50 points further fall could be there in the S&P 500. Now let us go to the daily price chart to understand the recent price action. What we can see, the overall structure is higher highs and higher lows kind of formation. But this trend line is acting as a resistance. Price rejection, price rejection. Once again, the price got rejected from this counter trend line, which is acting as a dynamic now, the price took support on this trend line. This is a falling trend line, took support, and there is a formation of a morning star over here. Now, the price is currently trading at this area, and 4,280 happens to be the support of this falling trend line. Also, 61.8% retracement level uh, based on the one wave impulsive wave analysis, and based on another wave, uh, uh, it's a complete wave if you consider it becomes a 38.2% retracement level. So this zone is likely to act as a good support from 4,232 to 4,280. And there is an added advantage at this point of time is because there is a confluence of not only this falling trend line, but the confluence of SMA 144 and 4,232 is a gap, which is a minor gap existing over here, which is still remains to be Field. So this is probably a complex correction as if now it is taking place. Now an upside move, this gap which has been created over here will act as a resistance. 4,376 to 4,406 is likely to be acting as a resistance area. More so, if we check the retracement level, retracement level 38.2% also falls within this zone at 4,407 area. So this area is likely to be the resistance area in the upcoming week, while this area is likely to act as a support area in the upcoming week. Let us not forget, there is a support of 78.6% retracement level also. So I believe as if now that yes, there is a vertical fall. Moreover, the vertical fall is not sustainable in the stock market. So it is likely to take support in this zone and probably the trend resumption might take place after it tests the demand area that what we have discussed. Now let us go to the price chart of NASDAQ 100 to undertake the technical analysis of NASDAQ. So this is the weekly price chart of NASDAQ 100 index, which in the last week closed at 14,701.10 which is a drawdown of 3.3% on week-to-week -week basis. I never believed uh, till last week that this index will give a breakdown below 15,000 level. And but it did. Ultimately, market does what uh, it is supposed to do. We have no control. We can only do the analysis to find out the most probable levels on the price chart. Now, this index also is very typically trading below volume weighted moving averages 
but taking support on EMA 21, which is a short term moving average. Now, this index also had a multiple resistance over here and the price got rejected. And probably when this correction took place and pullback did not make a new high. So this could also be upcoming complex kind of correction. One good thing is there that this index is as if now looking to take support at this area. So this index uh, market structure is still is intact. It is not making lower lows and lower highs kind of formation unless the price further falls next week. Now, this is very important to observe in this index is that post 2020 bear, 22 bear market, it formed the double bottom, apex of the double bottom was here, gave a breakout, throwback, price tested the neckline, and then market structure is higher highs and higher lows. So as if now the market structure in NASDAQ 100 is well intact. Now, let me superimpose some of the technical studies. What we see over here, that this trend line is acting as a resistance. Price got rejected multiple times. And this trend line is a falling trend line, which is acting as a support. So based on the price action, this is the support area. This is the resistance area. And if you just transport this area to this level, there is a confluence of EMA 21. So based on the current price action, 14,557 to 14,715 is likely to act as a demand zone in this index. However, if price breaks below uh, 14,500, then there might be a deeper correction. Then the price may test 13,600 to 13,700, which happens to be the rejection area and confluence of EMA 55 and SMA 144. Now, let us check the uh, daily price chart to understand the recent price action. What we can see, currently it is trading in some kind of this channel. This is not exactly the parallel price channel, but of course, uh, nevertheless, it is a channel. So, price is getting rejected on upper fiber, getting rejected, and price is taking support at lower fiber. Here, we can see the formation of a morning star as well. So this gap down candle, which became ultimately the bullish candle, despite of the gap down opening, the entire range of this candle is likely to act as a support area. What is the range of this candle? This range of the candle is 14,557 to 14,744. And here you can see some kind of consolidation band where the price took resistance for multiple days over here. So this area is an immediate support area. Price may little fall below this zone uh, and uh, could affect uh, or show some kind of piercing or uh, you know passing through the action of this falling trend line and then might recover from this. Area. This is the gap down opening and the last trading session. If you see the candlestick pattern, last trading say session made the higher highs with respect to the prior day uh, trading session. And this is a something kind of the low of the prior day has not been broken down. So as if now, if you read the market psychology, this gap down candle is acting as a good support. So this is likely to be good support. We can round it off to the level of 14,500 as a good support in NASDAQ 100. On upside move, this gap itself will create some kind of resistance or upside move of NASDAQ 100. Where is this gap? If you measure this gap and uh, combine with other price action, 14,968 to 15,000 is the immediate supply area in this index. Now, is the trend has changed? If you see the EMA 21 is still placed above EMA 55. So even the short term trend remains bullish and remains intact. Just for a moment, let us check the trend of uh, S&P 500 also. Here too, EMA 21 is placed above EMA 55. So there is no change in the uh, expectation of the market or the market trend. So this is likely to act uh, as a demand area and immediate supply area is around at uh, 
14,968 to 15,000. And if this level is taken out, EMA 21, EMA 55, volume weighted moving average 21 will act as a, a good amount of re resistance on upside move. And real momentum in this in index on upside will develop when it gives a breakout of this falling trend line. However, if it gives a breakdown below this uh, uh, falling trend line, then there will be deeper correction. There is an existence of a gap over here. Can you see this gap? It still remains to be unfilled. And if this gap gets filled, then the price may fall to the level of 13,600 to 13,655. So overall trend is intact, but there is a weakness in the market. And this level of support is important. If this level is uh, broken down, then probably the market structure will get disturbed. So now let us go to the price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index to undertake the technical analysis. This is the price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index and weekly time frame. This index in the last week closed at 33,963.85, thereby it was bearish by 1.89% on week to week basis. So this index has fallen much less than uh, SPX and NASDAQ. But there is a significant weakness. Continuously three weeks, this index has been falling. Now what we can see, this was the major price resistance, major price resistance. We expected that the price will take support here. But here too, the market structure stands broken because it is now made a lower highs and lower lows. Possibly this is also making a complex kind of correction and ABCD pattern. Now, if you see the multiple support over here, for several weeks, 33,700 to 33,800 becomes a good support area and there is an intervention of uh, EMA 55 as well. So as if now, this is the immediate support area. On upside move, this area which has acted as a multiple resistance has now become a resistance. So 34,332 to 34,440 becomes a good amount of resistance on upside move. Now, this is the counter trend line, price rejection, price rejection, price rejection. So unless the price gives a breakout of this counter trend line, there won't be any upside momentum developing in this index. However, if we consider the market structure, this was an impulsive wave. This was the uh, cup and handle kind of pattern, which has given a breakout over here. Now, this could be considered as a throwback phenomenon where the price comes in the uh, you know, demand area before it further moves on upside or the trend resumption takes place. Now, let us go to the daily price chart to understand the recent price action. If you look at the daily price chart, there looks to be a some kind of weakness in this index because this trend line was acting as a support. It has given a breakdown over here. Now, if I see another trend line, this was acting as a support and this has given a breakdown. So, this is the last trading session saw the decisive. If there is a follow through below this candlestick pattern of the uh, 22nd September 2023, there is virtually a breakdown of a head and shoulder pattern, which is a distribution pattern. It's a left shoulder, head formation, a right shoulder and a breakdown. So if there is a follow through and the candle starts going below this demand area, then probably there could be a deeper correction. And if I calculate the target on the basis of this price pattern, what target it comes, it's a, let me measure through neckline and project it. It may fall to the level of 33,161 level, which is the first target of this head and shoulder pattern. However, during the last trading session of the last week, there is a small body candlestick pattern quite in vicinity of SMA 144 and SMA 200 and the lower fiber at 33,700 is an intervention of SMA 233. So this area if defended and the price again goes above the neckline area, then probably upside move may start in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. There is no doubt that weakness exists in the market, but at the same time, uh, as if now uh, trend reversal is not confirmed because of the market structure that we have discussed. 
give a lot of thumbs up to this video share your opinion by giving a comments in the comment section of this video what do you think about spx nasdaq 100 and dow jones industrial average index in the upcoming week thank you very much for watching looking forward to meet you very very soon